It was a question that made one stop and think. At this point in time, there is no evidence to back up the concept that there is life on any planets other than Earth. However, taking into account the age of the universe, about 13.8 billion years, the expanse of the universe, and the estimated trillions of planets that have grown throughout that time period, it is highly improbable that Earth is the only planet in the cosmos that is home to life. Taking these factors into consideration, it is highly improbable that Earth is the only planet in the cosmos that is home to life. The Fermi paradox refers to the contradiction that exists between the vastness of the universe and the absence of conclusive evidence for the presence of life elsewhere in the universe. The search for extraterrestrial life is an important and time-consuming activity, and researchers are making significant strides in the development of methods that might recognize possible signals indicating the presence of alien life. Hello and welcome everyone. This is KYC News. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. A recent study came to the conclusion that the recurring signals that were previously assumed to be originating from the center of the Milky Way galaxy may in reality represent a form of communication coming from intelligent life in other galaxies. Recent years have seen an increase in the number of scientific studies that concentrate on the galactic core as researchers look for signs of life beyond Earth. Even if it's plausible that there are sentient aliens dwelling in the center of our galaxy, no one has ever found any evidence that they exist. As part of their ongoing inquiry, scientists are attempting to identify radio pulses that originate from the galactic core as part of the search for radio pulses that come from the galactic core is a new direction that has been pursued in the quest for life beyond Earth. There is a special type of star known as a pulsar that naturally generates pulses that fall inside a certain frequency band. On the other hand, these pulses have been utilized on purpose by humans in the construction of technological devices such as radar. Because these pulses can be distinguished from the radio noise that occurs naturally in the environment of space, it is possible to use them as a mode of communication that is efficient even at extensive distances. As a consequence of this, locating them should be a goal that is prioritized throughout the process of searching for life in habitats that are not our own. When seeking for life on other planets, astronomers have explained the method that they employ in an article that was recently published in the Astronomical Journal. The report was published not too long ago. Cornell University researchers, led by a doctoral student named Akshay Suresh, were responsible for developing the software that is able to recognize repeated frequency patterns. The software was validated for its capability to reliably detect extremely small frequencies by employing well-established pulsars in the evaluation process. The frequency ranges that are being questioned are extremely tiny, measuring around one-tenth the width of the frequencies that are utilized by an FM radio station, which is the frequency width that is believed to be the industry standard. The researchers looked over the data that was acquired by the Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia by employing this method. Radio SETI has mostly focused on the search for continuous signals, according to Vishal Gajar, a co-author of the study and a member of the SETI Institute a non-profit organization devoted to researching the prospect of the existence of intelligent life elsewhere in the cosmos. Gajar expressed this information in a statement. The Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence SETI, Institute is an organization devoted to investigating whether or not there is intelligent life elsewhere in the universe. According to the findings of this research, an incredibly energy-efficient means of communicating across very great distances, such as those involved in interplanetary travel, can be achieved by sending a series of pulses. It is vital to note out that this study is the first and most extensive attempt to carry out in-depth investigations for these signals, and it is also the case that this attempt has been successful. Due to the large number of stars that can be discovered there as well as the possibility that it contains extrasolar planets with the potential to support life, researchers are focusing a lot of their attention on the region that can be located in the center of the Milky Way. If sentient extraterrestrial creatures decided to make contact with other parts of the galaxy,
they could do so from their advantageous location at the center of the Milky Way and transmit signals to a wide variety of planets. This would allow them to communicate with other regions of the galaxy. Because of this, they would be able to speak with people in different parts of the galaxy. An observation made by Steve Croft, a project scientist working on the Breakthrough Listen program, gives rise to the possibility that extraterrestrial beings may choose to make themselves known by adopting restricted bandwidths and patterns that are repeated over and over again. This is because the occurrence of such a combination in nature is exceedingly uncommon due to the fact that there are so many variables involved. This approach makes use of an algorithm that is able to scan through 1.5 million telescope data samples in just 30 minutes worth of time. The researchers looked for any observable clues during the preliminary stage of their examination, but they were unable to locate any. In spite of this, they are of the opinion that the speed of the algorithm will be of use to additional research endeavors in the years to come. Finding potential signals of advanced extraterrestrial life forms is comparable to looking for needles in a haystack, and Croft noted that Breakthrough Listen has gathered a significant amount of data, and Akshay's method offers a novel way to assist in sifting through that data in search of those signals, which is equivalent to looking for needles in a haystack. According to Croft, Breakthrough Listen has collected enormous amounts of data. The question that needs to be answered is whether or not extraterrestrial people live on our planet. The question that needs to be answered is whether or not extraterrestrial people live on our planet. Even though there is currently no evidence that can be called conclusive that life exists anywhere else in the cosmos than Earth, scientists continue to hold out hope that they will one day find it. Are aliens real? It was a question that made one stop and think. At this point in time, there is no evidence to back up the concept that there is life on any planets other than Earth. However, taking into account the age of the universe, about 13.8 billion years, the expanse of the universe, and the estimated trillions of planets that have grown throughout that time period, it is highly improbable that Earth is the only planet in the cosmos that is home to life. Taking these factors into consideration, it is highly improbable that Earth is the only planet in the cosmos that is home to life. The Fermi paradox refers to the contradiction that exists between the vastness of the universe and the absence of conclusive evidence for the presence of life elsewhere in the universe. The search for extraterrestrial life is an important and time-consuming activity, and researchers are making significant strides in the development of methods that might recognize possible signals indicating the presence of alien life. Before humans were even capable of leaving their home planet and traveling to other worlds, the hunt for life in alien environments had already gotten off to a head start and was well underway. The development of radio technology, as stated by the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence SETI, Institute, ushered in the possibility of humans one day being able to receive communications from people living on other worlds. In the early 1900s, visionaries Nikola Tesla and Guglielmo Marconi entertained the idea that they may have picked up communications from another planet, most specifically Mars. The year 1960 marked the beginning of a significant radio-based hunt for signs of life on other planets or in other solar systems. Astronomer Frank Drake was the primary impetus for the undertaking. He made use of two radio telescopes in order to look for transmissions coming from planets that may be revolving around stars located 10 to 12 light years away from Earth. Project Ozma, by which it was more commonly known, was unsuccessful in its quest for anything. Project Phoenix of the SETI Institute conducted a search for extraterrestrial intelligence between the years 1995 and 2000. The Phoenix experiment was conducted behind closed doors. The mission's primary purpose was to undertake an exploration of 800 star systems that were located within 200 light years of the Earth. However, they, too, were unsuccessful in achieving the goals they had set for themselves. Because of the Allen Telescope Array, which consists of 42 antennas and has the capability to capture microwave frequencies emanating from a variety of sites around the Milky Way, the mission is still operational today. In an effort to communicate with other intelligent life forms that may exist in other parts of the universe, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence SETI, Institute is going to embark on a mission to search for laser pulses that may have been communicated by intelligent life forms from other planets or galaxies. This mission will be undertaken in order to look for laser pulses. 
The current inquiry is based on the assumption that there is at least one intelligent alien species that is also equipped with advanced technology. As scientists continue their research into the likelihood of life existing on other worlds, they have started to concentrate their emphasis on the most fundamental forms of life. By utilizing unmanned spacecraft and various remote sensing technologies, scientists are now in a position to search for chemical signatures that might point to the existence of life beyond the confines of our own planet. Sensitive telescopes such as the James Webb Space Telescope and others have the potential to detect minute fluctuations in the light that is emitted by distant exoplanets. Scientists are able to identify the existence of gases such as oxygen and sulfur as a result of this, and the presence of these gases may or may not indicate the presence of microbiological life depending on the circumstances. In recent decades, there have been efforts made to detect the magnetic field of a distant planet that is comparable to Earth. These efforts have been done in an attempt to find out more about this world. These efforts are now still underway. It is thought that this is a crucial component for the maintenance of life in the face of the powerful radiation that is emitted by the neighboring stars. This is a factor that must be taken into consideration. Robotic explorers throughout the vastness of our solar system, such as the Mars rover Perseverance, are working diligently to collect samples from various locations. Their goal is to look for any traces of fossils or molecules that would lead to the existence of microorganisms on Mars during the time when the environment was more suitable, which is billions of years in the past. This will allow them to determine whether or not life ever existed on the Red Planet. Researchers have traveled to far-flung places like the deserts of Chile and the trenches that might be found in the ocean because they are interested in learning more about the ecosystems that can be found on Earth. It's possible that the findings of their inquiry will provide some useful hints for future projects. Even though it is a challenging endeavor, planetary scientists try to maintain an optimistic outlook regarding their prospects of being successful in their quest for life beyond Earth. They are of the idea that innovative approaches to investigation will be successful in unearthing evidence that the vast expanse of space is home to other intelligent beings than humans. This is all for now thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell.